Hi, this is Mike from Five Squared Support. This video that you are about to embark on will highlight how to convert a virtual machine, such as the one we set up on a prior video, on a standard computer. One of the reasons you might want to do this conversion is because you set up the virtual machine as a test environment. It has passed your needs and it is ready to be used in a working environment. Although a virtual machine will work in any environment. I'm going to make another text document here just so we can see the difference on the new computer once we get this set up. We'll soon be on a computer. That's fine. You know what? I don't like this search. Let's get rid of this thing. I am going to set up an image using Macrium Reflect. I want to download the free version. So I can do that from 5squared.tech. I'm going to click on Software. I'm going to scroll down to Macrium. There we go. I made this available on the website because this version is no longer available from Macrium directly. They are not offering the free version anymore, so I am thankful to have a copy of this one. This is from when I actually purchased this. Even after the 30-day trial is over, this application can still be used. Be sure you do not do the update because Doing so will get rid of the free version. I don't want to do any updates. What I'm going to do is take an image of this virtual machine, not by copying like you saw in the prior video. I mean an actual image from Macrium. I'm going to plug in a USB drive, but this USB drive just has a USB dongle on an older Samsung 840 Evo 750 gigabyte. This is what I'm going to use to put the image on. I connected it to my host computer, but I want to connect it to this virtual machine. Let's check to see if this drive is connected to this virtual machine. I'm going to do that by hitting Windows key and the letter E. This is the Explorer. I do see him there. There is the drive. This is where we're going to store the image. So we're going to run Macrium Reflect. And what we want to do is take the C drive. And we want to image this. That drive, and I'm going to say Windows 10 activated VM. And I think all the rest of the defaults are fine. I'm just going to click Finish. I'm not going to save this, and we're going to run this backup. Now that the image has completed successfully, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is to set up a rescue boot drive from Macrium. I'm going to put a new USB drive in. I'm going to connect that to the virtual machine. From there, I'm going to go to Other Tasks. Create Rescue Media, and select the flash drive, and we're going to build it. And this is what we're going to boot off of on the main computer. That video is going to be done from my phone staring at my screen. We're now ready to boot onto the main computer using this newly created USB flash drive. 
but that's what we'll do. We'll start by closing this out and shutting down this virtual machine. And I will switch to recording the screen directly from my phone. I need to press F12 on my keyboard to choose my booting location, which is going to be the flash drive that we have just set up. Currently, I have my flash drive plugged into a USB 3 port, and I have my SSD drive with the image plugged into a USB docking station. In this case, we want to boot on the Partition 1 USB drive, and this is going to bring us into the rescue environment from Macrium. I'm going to browse for the image that we created for the virtual machine. I know it's on this disk. I know it's in this folder. And I know that's the file. And now we're going to click Restore. And we're going to select the drive. Make sure you choose the right drive. If you only have one, it's hard to make a mistake. I have multiple drives. So give me a second. And I want to find the Samsung. There it is. This is the drive we're going to restore to. We're going to erase, erase that disk. And copy all this over here. And now we just wait. We are moments away of booting on our virtual disk. That's no longer a virtual disk. Before we do that, however, I want to go to a couple of settings here, maybe just one. We're going to go to Restore, Fix Windows Boot Problems. I have multiple drives here, so I want to make sure I set this up the way I want. We know we just restored this to the one terabyte SSD drive from Samsung. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Next. And ask, what do you want to boot from? It's going to be that one. Next. And then Finish. And it's going to write these boot records. I do want to restart. And there you have it. Our virtual machine is now on our physical computer. We can also do the reverse. And there are reasons for that as well. Most of all, when you get a brand new computer, it's good to be able to boot into your environment that you used to use. I do this all the time. It's a great setup. I will show how to do all that in another video. If you need help with anything, for 25 bucks, you can get tech support. Good tech support. Trust me. I'll be on my best behavior. Give me a call. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. For now.